Okay, I want to create a larger program. We're going to create the video game breakout in an effort to review all of the object-oriented concepts we may have covered and pull things together with a little bit of review and then show you some of the concepts in action in a larger program that we wouldn't necessarily be able to code by ourselves in a few, in a, a few classes on our own. So we're going to use the ACM graphics. So let's import those. And we're also going to uh, need keyboard access. So we're going to import java.aut, the abstract windows toolkit.event, which will allow us to get input from the keyboard. Now our program, we'll call it breakout. extends graphics program and I'll show you what review what that means in a bit this is inheritance and we're going to break this into several files so I'm going to save this a few things we want to do before we start up declare a few major variables Let's review what static means. We'll set our application height and width. And in this case, static just means it's not changing. Static and final. Well, that's more what final means, that it can't be changed. Then I'll do the same for the height. And remember, variables declared right inside the class curly brace or right inside the main method are, are going to be global. Anything I code afterwards here can accept, can access those. Then there's some objects we're going to need to create. We'll probably have a, a welcome message. And notice I'm not instantiating the objects here. I'm just creating them. We're going to need a, a, a paddle. I'll name that lowercase paddle. I might instantiate that later. Um, we're going to need a ball that's bouncing around. And we're going to need some blocks. So for my object name, I'm using it in capitals, excuse me, for the class, I'm using it in capitals. For the actual object name, I'm using lowercase. Now the way we're going to set this up is we're going to have it distributed among several files. So eventually we'll be creating a paddle file, one for the ball and one for blocks. And the way we set this up with our, our, our sort of root class here, it's going to run the program as we want this to do as little as possible. It's going to outsource everything. It's almost like a hierarchy. So we're going to have two methods here within this one, public void, the initialization one, in which we'll have everything that we want to run before uh, the program actually starts, as it's starting up, initializing. And then we'll have run which is where we'll have our game loop when the game's being played. That's where everything will go. And then we'll probably need, uh, in order to get keyboard input, we'll need our key pressed method. So that's all this program is going to do. If I 
right now. Okay, so let's go in and let's create our other objects. We're going to need paddle, ball, and blocks. probably need our import statement. And this doesn't extend graphics objects, it extends G compound. Just a comp compound graphic item. Well, instead of event here, we're going to need Java dot ot dot star just for the colors. That we're going to be using. Oops, that should say G compound. So I'll save this. I'm going to copy this twice so I don't have to recode as many things. We have a ball. And we have, what do we call them, bricks or blocks? Bricks, blocks. Go ahead and compile these, and obviously they won't do anything yet. Extends. That's what it was. And we'll cover what extends means in the next video and with some exercises. So get this coded, and then you're done with this part.